Potter Foundation Children's Garden. Children of today have much less opportunity to interact with nature. Most playscapes we see around are equipped with ordinary swings and slides. But an exception to this is the Ian Potter Foundation Children's Garden in the Royal Botanic Gardens of Melbourne. The objective for this garden was to create a space where children could come and learn, play and interact with the natural world to inspire children's curiosity and imagination. Set in 1.25 acres, this garden is a safe interactive environment for children to discover nature, irrespective of their age, physical abilities or cultural backgrounds. Roughly 25 years ago, the current location of the children's garden belonged to the Old Melbourne Observatory and the Governor Latrobe's cottage. The lawn between the astronomer's house and the herborium had remained underdeveloped but was a designated area for education programs. In 1999, it was decided by the board that the land would be developed into a new entrance into the Royal Botanic Gardens. In 2002, the Royal Botanic Garden had decided to redevelop the unoccupied area into a more usable space. After years of planning and consideration, in 2004, the Royal Botanic Garden opened the children's garden to the public. The journey to this garden begins in this circle, which is the centre of the spiral entry inlaid into the path and garden beds. It symbolises the significance of river regums to Indigenous Australians. A small childproof gate leads us to the meeting place, a gathering area. There are a number of options to continue our journey from here. The wetland area and a shelter. The kitchen garden. The rainforest garden. The bamboo forest. Tea tree tunnels. The rill and the gorge. A 10,000 year old river red gum ebonized from the Murray River is the star for many who visit the rainforest garden. A child can easily feel lost despite the relatively small size of the garden. The meandering paths lead them from one space to another. Child-sized exits from each of these spaces open to a central lawn. There are no strict separations between spaces. The garden beds and play spaces are seamlessly integrated. Featuring plants, water, rocks and pathways, this garden speaks a language, a landscape language, meaningful to children. The garden closes for maintenance every year for eight weeks in the winter. Grasses are cut back annually towards the end of the autumn to encourage healthy growth. Organic gardening is practiced in the kitchen garden. Sustainable practices such as composting, rainwater harvesting are followed. This garden is widely used and loved by children and families and has quickly become a Melbourne institution. And this was what a child revisiting the garden after 10 years had to share. Um, well, everything's a lot more grown. And <laughs> last time I was here, it was a bit smaller. We all love the connection we make with landscapes that engage our senses and fill us with wonder. We all love to feel small in the midst of an expansive meadow or immerse in the aroma of wet earth after a rain. Most kids today are missing out on all these small wonders. By intriguing their little minds with the remarkable world of plants, Ian Porter Foundation Children's Garden evokes love and a sense of ownership, care and awareness in children for their environments. The textural and sensory style has in many ways helped redefine the way playgrounds and parks are experienced. With continued maintenance and fresh ideas, this garden will continue to evolve and enchant its visitors for years to come.